Let's open the inherited device vendor make file in the Cuttlefish shared phone folder. We can see that it inherits from the handheld and telephony vendor make file. The shared device vendor also inherits from the Cuttlefish shared device make file. So let's open the Cuttlefish shared device make file. We can see that it defines the application programming interface level to be 31, which is targeted for Android version 12. The Cuttlefish device has dynamic partitions set to true. Dynamic partitions was introduced with Android 10 in order to reduce storage waste. Before dynamic partitions, the device developer would have to create a fixed size system image. This means that if there was an update that required the system image size to increase, other partitions needed to be resized. With dynamic partitions, the system, system ext vendor, product and the ODM images are sub-partitions of the super partition. During an update, each of them can grow freely as long as there is enough shared space in the super partition. Dynamic partition has Habe system, Update support. One of the slots is for the active partition, and the other one is saved for the next update. The fastboot daemon is a running process in user space that creates and flashes physical partitions. Fastboot de initiate a reboot to the device in order for the updated partition to become the active partition. As mentioned before, the user data partition is a writable partition. It is usually an empty image, which gets populated during first boot when apps get unpacked and files and databases get created. Due to the question mark equals, the size of the user data partition is set only if it was not set before. Let's go back up the inheritance stack to the AOSP Cuttlefish make file in the phone directory. If we scroll to the end, we see that this make file defines the name, device, manufacturer and model for this Android Cuttlefish product. Because the product device is set to VSOCX86, the build system will search for a board config make file in that Cuttlefish VSOCX86 folder. So let's open the board config make file to see what it includes. We can see that it defines the specific architecture to use for the build. It is x86 because we run the Cuttlefish device in our host OS running on our Intel CPU. Most real devices use ARM SOC instead of x86. Finally, let's open the shared board config to see its content. We can see that there are equals flags to build separate vendor, product, system ext and ODM partitions. Let's continue to scroll down. We can see that because this is an emulated device, the camera is stubbed. Let's continue to scroll down past the SE policy directories. We can finally see that the super partition is set to 6.5 GB. The super partition is made from the Google System Dynamic Partitions and the Google Vendor Dynamic Partitions. The Google System Dynamic Partition is made from the product system and system ext partitions and has a size of 5 GB. The Google Vendor Dynamic Partition is made from the ODM and vendor partitions and their dynamically loadable kernel modules corresponding images. The Vendor Dynamic Partition has a size of 1 GB. Finally, we can see that we build the super image by default. Now we know what the super image contains and we know its size.